Hey, I'm Osborne, and this is my submission to SGDQ 2022 for Liminal Ranger True Ending, a game made by a talent top. And I hope to have a good showcase. This isn't really going to be that much different from normal ending. It's mainly just us collecting the few mementos that allow us to unlock a true ending. And I do want to use this as kind of an incentive to upgrade from normal ending to true ending. Uh, if you guys are so interested in that. But th with that being said, we're just going to start from a new game. And that'll be in 3, 2, 1, go. So, we get to meet our friend here in this corridor. And we think that everything is going to go fine and dandy as we go through the major speed tech of simply spamming through text. And right here is our where things go a bit awry um, where we realize that our friend isn't here and we kind of check this mirror and we think we hear them behind us but we turn around and realize that something has gone terribly wrong our, when a space loses itself people can get lost in it and now we are in a journey to find our friend and save them from the space that they got lost in and we get hired by kind of an organization to help bring back the memories of certain spaces that feel like they have gotten lost in lost in time and between dimensions and that is the entire um that is the entire plot of this uh, of this game. I hope to uh, give a good showcase of the different kinds of mechanics and the different movements that we're going to be discussing throughout this game and using it um, to the best of our abilities. But with that being said, after five years of working for this organization, the first thing we're going to do is just grab our helmet and go to go to work on another day on the job. And we're already seeing that we're gonna do a little bit of speed tech here, just jumping upstairs because your movement speed does decrease ever so slightly if you were to not jump up the stairs. <laughs> this is our boss. Please refer to him as such. His name is Boss. Um, he's just telling us there are some unhappy spaces that we need to bring back the memories up later in this uh, in this section. But right now we're gonna be introduced to tutorial sequence where we get introduced to four main mechanics. The first one is jumping. The first one, the second one is jumping except extremely high with a pogo stick. Uh, the first jump will always be shorter than the second. The second one, you can keep the height of the second one as long as you time your jumps pretty well. This next one is a teleporting coin. You shoot left click, and you shoot with left click, and then you teleport with, to wherever the coin is with right click. This third one is the um, flying hammer. All I did was right click, and then um, I pressed right click, and then um, space bar in order to get a bit of momentum and height from this hammer. And this hammer will allow us to um, just, grab, just grab a lot of velocity and height so we can get up to certain platforms uh, without the need of the pogo stick. However, that is the alt ability, and so we can't get it until the po until the hammer gets upgraded after this first section. You probably saw us using the spray. That's the only time we will ever use it if we're good we're lucky. And right here, I use the um, teleporting corner to get a little bit more height after the pogo stick in order to get up onto this platform and now we're going to talk to this unhappy hallway it feels like it's unappreciated it feels like no one wants it or anything like that but we come to realize that um that's not particularly true and we're going to help the hallway realize that by grabbing the memories of people who found the uh, hallway to be very fond a place of refuge as one of them says uh, right here it doesn't really matter how fast you are in this particular section as long as you are fast enough to get to the specific cycle of this enemy quick enough and we were very well i got that checkpoint and that's a very important checkpoint because we're going to come back to it later after collecting all four soda cups here's the first one as part of the memories i'm going to get for the all for the hallway and then here is the second one through this section right here uh, all the enemies in this section kind of work in cycles and it doesn't really matter how fast you are as long as you are fast enough to get the fast cycles for each of them luckily we have gotten them so far don't have to worry about this guy turning around because we got the fast cycle for him and then we're going to just jump up here and then use the teleporting horn to go through this gap and then use the hammer for its intended purpose which is breaking glass and then after collecting this particular uh soda cup we are going to get um we're going to reset checkpoint come back here recall the coin and then you and place the coin right there in order to come back to it later but right here we're going to get a checkpoint right here and then we're going to grab the first memento and we'll unlock the true ending which is a paper airplane and then of course after that we are going to come over here and we're going to solve the rest of the puzzle or the rest of the uh, level as normal originally in this build a dilapidated building as we can see to my left here um we originally got all of the um benches 
from bottom to top and now we're gonna get top to bottom starting with this one and it doesn't really matter how fast you are up to this section as long as you are uh, good with these cycles to the point where you can just grab these benches without having to worry about the enemy's lights getting into your way and then we're going to purposely get hit by this enemy's light as we collect this next one or to get transported back to the uh to the uh checkpoint right there and then use the teleporting coin in order to use, use the teleporting coin that we left here in order to come back to the corridor pretty quickly we're going to use the spray one more time just to be safe from that enemy and then break the glass and talk to the hallway again. Uh, with that hallway, um, we have bring Bob Baggett's memories by collecting the soda cups and the benches. And now we are going to go and return to our boss. Now we do have a bit of a twist here. The twist is that when we co come back to our boss, we have to get rid of an item because we can only borrow items from a space. We can never take them, or so he says. And right here, we're going to go to the next section, Hotel Avella. Um, and and then uh, right here we're just going to go here and the next space that we're going to is a room in a hotel um, we're going to first equip the hammer and we're going to use its alt ability that we just unlocked by upgrading it in order to get a lot of height and a lot of velocity upwards and then instead of going to the intended path we're going to go right here oh thank you we're going to grab the second memento which is a clock and that will allow us to unlock the secret ending or the uh, true ending of this game. Now, it doesn't really matter how fast you are with this section as long as you are here uh, in an efficient enough time to make it through these cycles aren't a bother to you. And while technically in this next section, I can just simply use the hammer um, and the flight ability that we've gained from it in order to go through this section, you get a little bit more control if you are to use the... Um, the pogo stick you get much more control in mid-air of your movement unlike the hammer and it's just much more efficient to use that and you see we're supposed to talk to this room and there's actually a wall preventing us from doing so but for some reason that wall doesn't go all the way and so you can actually just um start collecting all the uh memories um without even having to talk to the room in the first place um and the memories that we're going to get here are for uh light switches and then four chairs you know the stuff that you would naturally see in a hotel room Here's a third light switch, and then we're going to use the hammer and the velocity that we get from it in order to get the fourth light switch right here. And we're going to use the coin that we used right here and teleport back to it. And we're going to go to this next section where the music will suddenly change for whatever reason. And then we're going to get the, um, the chairs. After pogoing up here, we're going to grab this checkpoint, and then we're going to use the alt ability of the hammer in order to get a good amount of height and a good amount of speed we'd love to see it here we're gonna grab this checkpoint and then we're gonna purposefully get hit after collecting that one we're gonna get transported back to our back to that checkpoint and then we're gonna grab this last one we're gonna take this last chair and then we're going to shoot that uh coin onto the distance reset the checkpoint and then grab the final chair and then teleport to where we shot the coin beautiful and that leaves us pretty close to the entrance of this area where we can talk to the um the room and since we had already gotten all the memories for the room before talking to it we can actually skip the first the dialogue of the first encounter and simply um skip straight to the second encounter where we've already figured out all of its problems for it and then now we have to return to our boss again and we have to get rid of another item but one thing that i do want to mention in here is by spamming e you are kind of resetting the dialogue um that the boss tells you uh, uh there we go okay there we go we want to make sure that we're getting the right one we need to get rid of the um we need to get rid of the pogo stick and not the coin and then right there we are going to uh um, as I said, when you press E, when you spam E, it resets the, resets the dialogue, and for whatever reason, when you reset the dialogue, it allows you to skip through the dialogue faster, and so you can just spam it and immediately and essentially you skip through the dialogue at light speed. Um, but right here, we are going to follow the spirit of our friend, and if I had, hadn't accidentally screwed up, I probably would have been done explaining the dialogue, skipping the dialogue, uh, skip a bit faster, and so we could, I could probably mention that this is a really, really good time for donations, as all I'm doing is, you know, avoid these shadow enemies um they're not really much of a threat but right now is a good time for a few good donations um but right here we're only uh, a good only like 20 seconds or so behind what would normally be a normal ending um that's how much time we usually spend uh, collecting the mementos which is which makes perfect sense 
and right here we're going to talk to the quarter that our friend got lost in and we need to find it for skateboards and for vents the natural things you would usually find in a corridor but first the thing that we're going to be using is, the first thing that we're going to be using is this coin we're going to leave it right here so we can come back to it later and then we're going to use this hammer use the alt ability to fly up there and fly way up here and essentially go outside of where we're intended to go with this map right here boom we love to see it and then we're just gonna fly up here as the music changes and we shift areas and then we're gonna get our first skateboard right over there and the intended purpose of this um of this uh, skateboard is really or of this hammer is really to just make it so that you're just con continuously floating instead of um getting instead of just setting its infinite velocity like what it's supposed to do is that right just give you that um just give you that floating animation throughout the air so you can just stay floating um but instead if you reverse the order of events by right clicking and then jumping instead of right clicking and then or instead of jumping and then right clicking we're actually able to uh, get a good amount of boost of velocity and uh, height and the amount of height and velocity that you get is determined by the um, by the space between or the time how fast or how slow you uh, hit space after hitting right click essentially the timing of a right click is what I'm trying to or timing of your space is what I'm trying to say timing of your jump and so right here we're just gonna go Flying off into the distance right here. We're going to collect the vents now. Ooh, that was great. We're going to grab that vent. And then we're going to grab this vent right over here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we're going to... That's fine. We're just going to recover from that by grabbing back here. That's why we have the coin. Not only to bring us back there, but also for a safety precaution. And then what we're going to do is grab the next vent right here in this section. I'm going to be a bit safe and go on to more stable ground. And then just jump down through here. We can actually grab this vent through the wall right there. Grab this vent right here. And then grab the final vent through here. And the one thing that we need to do that I almost forgot is to climb up here in this section. and grab the final memento which is going to be right up here and then after that we can just teleport back and we are going to um, talk to this quarter after having grabbed the third memento in order to unlock the final ending which means the uh true ending which should just be right through this door and with that we can actually go through this very special sequence right here where we discover that our friend has been wandering through space this entire time. We're going to skip through some of this uh, dialogue here and realizing that he, they've been safe this entire time. Um, but we finally found them and they're going to try to invite us to go on uh, the adventures with them. Or they don't feel like they can come back to the real world. But now we're going to, they're inviting us to go with them. We're going to gladly with them we're going to show something up ahead and in this last section is probably another good time for maybe a donation or two as you skip through some of this dialogue you know not a lot's going to happen here but we are getting pretty close on time i'll tell you when it is and it's going to be three two one okay yeah oh yep dialogue yep three two one and boom 13 22 still a minute and 22 seconds underneath um estimate we did have a pretty major um mistake unfortunately in the third section but thankfully we did recover from it pretty well but yeah that is uh that is um that is a true ending for the little ranger um i am really hoping that uh we are able to uh, get this incentivized off and i this is actually a recorded world record um, I did have a little bit of a better thing offline, um, but again, um, that was like a purpose. I didn't really want to report that one. Um, so yeah, that is a per that is a recorded world record again, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed the run. That is my uh, submission to SGDQ 2022 for true ending. I probably had a lot more cohesive commentary <laughs> in my uh, normal ending playthrough, um, but yeah. That is your ending. I hope that you guys enjoyed.
I will see you around.